Hello guys, it's Ruthie again. I'm here at Home Depot. I'm just going to pick up a couple of succulents to do, finish up with a couple of projects. Why don't you come join me? Let's go guys. Just going to check out what we have out here first before I go inside. Ooh, they have some purple hearts here. I have these in the front of my house. These are really cool. They, um, they bloom little flowers in the morning every morning I'll have my um, purple hearts bloom these little pink flowers that's kind of cool maybe I'll put one of these in my chair This one. And my sedum. I think I'm gonna get this for dives. There's three of them, so that's nice. Hmm, look at this petal. Broke off. Oh. Broke off. This one has two big ones. But this one has three. I think I like this one because these are smaller ones and the larger one. I thought these bushes were really beautiful when I first walked in um, but when I looked to the side I saw the cutest owl planters uh, that caught my eye they were $20 and I think it wasn't a bad price because they were super cute and I could have sworn I heard some owls hooting around but I don't know if it was just my imagination or not I thought these little air plants were adorable. They were $10 and I don't own any air plants so I would like to um, look into getting some in the future. I loved this bromeliad planter. It was so cute. Um, and I didn't think the price was too bad because it has quite a few plants on there and the driftwood alone was really substantial. It was $99 which I don't think was a bad price at all for what you're getting anyway. I don't own any bromeliads. I haven't had any luck with them at all. I think they really need like little to no water or something and I think I've drowned them several times. Well, at least one or two. Um, I do see some of my neighbors have some really huge ones that are beautiful and so colorful but I haven't had any luck with them yet. And I thought these plants were amazing. Um, I don't know if there's some form of bromeliad as well I couldn't find the price until like much later and it was $39.99 and it did come with those three to four colors um, flowering and I thought it was really beautiful uh, but I I don't know if they are hardy or not and I did not want to kill such a beautiful plant
I was really annoyed that I couldn't find a price on this thing. Um, but I do love the leaf, how it's variegated and just beautiful. I finally found my section succulents um, they had some interesting succulents this time around and some cactus that I had not seen previously um, so I was really happy with my haul this day I was so excited to see all the goodies um, in the cactus area especially seeing this split rock which I have never seen at a Home Depot previously um, I, or at a Lowe's so I clearly had to get one this one was a little busted and had some wear and tear so I held off on getting this particular one um, but I was fortunate enough to have found another one um, not too far from that one so I took this one because it was in better shape. It did have a little, you know, wear and tear as well, but I thought it looked a little better. Than and of course I drop it because that twice there. Wow. Um, if it didn't have wear and tear before, it sure does now. <laughs> I really love the shape of this Haworthia. Um, it kind of looked like a little alien to me. I wasn't sure if it was the same species as uh, the other one that was next to it that looked like it was open, but I think it was. I don't know if that one was just dehydrated. They did have quite a few uh, different cacti and items that I haven't seen, so I wound up getting quite a few things on this day. <laughs> I just couldn't stop myself. I just the cart just kept filling. Now, in my defense, I did need to get a bunch of things to finish up some projects, including my succulent chair, uh, which I posted the video before I, I posted this one because I was so excited that I finished my succulent chair and that it had come out so beautifully. Um, but these are the items that I had basically purchased for that um, project. Now these are the Anna Campsaros. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct or not. I had actually gotten some at my Leaf and Clay um, unboxing recently as well as the Split Rock. And I was really ama amazed that they had these at um, Home Depot because I have never seen them there. So, so pretty. I love the Traverias. They're hands down my favorite. I thought this spring glow was so pretty my gosh I don't know if you can see the pink and um, tips on it but it's beautiful I loved it I I think I wound up getting two or three of those whatever um, I found I did grab because they were so cute <laughs> There goes another spring glow. Loved it. And I really hope I wasn't moving too fast. I will say I was excited to see all the new items. And um, I don't know if I was uh, vigilant of my camera work. So I hope. I was doing okay. <laughs> I hate to get you guys dizzy. 
they had these really cute um, little arrangements and the prices weren't bad at all and I have to say that Home Depot and Lowe's have been really good about doing um, pretty nice arrangements for you know reasonable prices especially for those who are trying to um, establish their stock and just get different flowers all at once you know I think these were like $6.99 they had some $5.99, some $9.99, which I don't think is bad because if you can propagate them, you can make your own uh, stock. So I'm not mad at Home Depot and Lowe's. I thought this little arrangement was a really great bargain uh, for $5.98 you get four three to four different um, plants different colors different shapes I thought it was a great deal um, I should have grabbed it but I didn't I thought it was a good deal though way to go Home Depot I love this leaf I thought it was so pretty um, I don't know what this plant is called but I thought the leaf variation was really nice now the, that euphorbia um, I have one of those and it's huge I really need to take a video of that so you guys see it it's probably like four feet tall and it was leaning to the side recently and my husband helped me stake it so that it doesn't continue to lean to the side I love those such a variant, so pretty. And I had to get these neon breakers. Uh, I don't think I may have one, um, but I had to get another one. I was looking under the leaves to see if they if they had any babies or anything um, or any loose leaves, so I can pick the best one. Now this was interesting to me. Um, this was a, a California sunset and it was so pink and beautiful um, that I didn't realize that right next to it there was a greener one that was the exact same plant but um, I guess this one was dry and stressed and the one that was heavily watered you'll see is uh, green not, not much color. So there is something to say about uh, stressing out your plant for color, and I have heard that elsewhere. And um, you know, I um, become. Now you'll see these. These are the exact same plant, um, but not as much color. They're not as pink. You see, these are quite pink. And I was checking the name because I'm like, I believe this is the exact same plant. And indeed, this is the exact same plant, just, and I touch the soil, and you'll see that it's drenched, it's just soaked, um, and this one's super dry. So, I have to believe that, that that's the reason.
I love the shape of this plan. It's almost hypnotizing. It looks just like you're looking into a tunnel of uh, petals. I really like it. And I'm just checking in another area because it's the same uh, California sunset. Just different color variations, I guess, depending on how much they watered it and how much sun they received. I thought the color on this plant leaf was beautiful. It's like a chocolate colored almost. I don't know why I was fascinated by it. I guess my husband's right. I do go in circles. It's like I've gone to this area already and I'm coming back to it. I don't know why. Oh boy, more edge of areas. You know I can't stop myself from getting those. This one was a uh, Echeveria subsicillus. It had pink little edges. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's really pretty. I rarely ever see these jelly bean um, sedums, so I definitely had to grab this. I I can't say that I've ever seen them at Home Depot or Lowe's, so I had a little shelf full of stuff that I was putting together to take. And this one I've never seen either, and I was um, in awe of the shape and uh, definitely had to grab it. Mal Herbie. Ox tongue. <laughs> That's an odd name. But I thought he was really pretty. Um, I don't have Gisteria, like I said, uh, so I had to get him.
this one was definitely uh, not in great shape but I don't have this one so I figured I can propagate it if nothing else and I hadn't seen it at um, my local shop so in the cart it went. I thought this aloe was really cute. I love the pattern. Um, I can't say that I've seen it before, but I love the stripes. It was a little busted, so I didn't get it. I tried to get a discount at the front um, cashier and they were not having it. But I thought it was beautiful either way. I was so indecisive of whether to put it in my cart um, and I was trying to get a discount for it and clearly did not get one. Another pretty arrangement with different items in there. I think it's a great idea, you know, if you're starting out to get uh, things like that. Now I never realized that the cactus were painted those colors um, and I feel terrible having purchased them in the past because uh, I thought they were naturally those colors but they weren't. I wish only for the big shops wouldn't do that. I love this Echeveria, Echeveria Parva, so pretty, so so pretty, I had to get that one of course. I thought this one was so interesting, um, actually called Ogre's Ears, and it totally looked like Shrek Ears uh, after I read the name. I've never seen this one before and thought it was so interesting. Had to get it, <laughs> for sure. Now this is another um, item I hadn't seen at Home Depot or Lowe's, the Crassula. Um, and I got this one recently from my Leaf and Clay order. So I was so excited when I saw this uh, in stock here. I don't know what was up with uh, this day that they had so many different things. It was super cool and uh, that's why I wound up getting so much stuff. <laughs> another one. Couldn't believe I saw it. I was like, what?
it had a nice uh, string of bananas there I was looking for my string of pearls again <laughs> that I don't have uh, this one looked a little dry once I brought it home and watered it um, it perked up really nicely and it's surprising because usually Home Depot like drenches their plants so I was surprised at the okay I have never seen this plant before it's called a pitcher plant and it's a carnivorous plant I'm so amazed by the perfect shape of it it's like a perfect little pitcher and um, I was trying to figure out how exactly it eats its uh, prey and um, I really don't know how it does it but I didn't buy it on this occasion because I had a bunch of succulents in my cart already but I did come back uh, the next day and I did purchase one and I will post a video about it Once again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for your support. Till next time.